Well, the Ebola virus has taken a significant toll on health care workers. An estimated 236 of them have now died already in West Africa and many more have been infected. And that makes the protective suits that medical professionals wear critical to their safety. CCTV's Hendrik Sabrandi reports that the way a suit is put on and taken off is extremely important. These are some of the tools of the trade for doctors and nurses fighting the Ebola epidemic, what's known as personal protective equipment. It's absolutely instrumental to prevent uh, further infection. At Project Cure in Centennial, Colorado, a major provider of donated medical supplies to developing countries. Shall we plunge in here? We got a first-hand look at what health care workers on the front lines of this fight are wearing to keep themselves safe. Yeah, I mean, it's a long process. Operations Specialist Oliver Cunningham is talking about all the steps involved in putting on a protective anti-contamination suit. An assortment of different items cover the feet, the hands, and the rest of a person's body. Any reduction of the risk through covering your skin and through, you know, protecting all potential areas, that's, that's the way to best reduce the likelihood of transmission. The goal is to keep a patient's bodily fluids from touching the skin of the person treating that patient or even the clothing covering the skin. If they get any uh, fluids on their clothing that maybe would then subsequently contaminate them, then that could be a source of infection. We really don't know. Once the last duct tape has been applied, the suit wearer is sealed off from the environment, at least as much as possible. This gets pretty hot in Africa, doesn't it? Like you can see right now, the goggles are, are fogging up. We actually have uh, anti-fog spray. It's also hard to, to talk Absolutely. and to be, to be understood by whoever you're treating. The process of removing the suit may be even more important and even trickier. Taking off the gloves takes some practice. And you take this and then you roll off the other glove. Both contaminants are inside. You're not touching anything contaminated. The key is attention to detail and carrying out all these steps correctly. At a time when even those wearing suits have been infected, a health worker's life depends on it. It's really important to, that the process is taken extremely seriously. Hendrik Sabrandi, CCTV, Centennial, Colorado.